Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up an AdWords landing page correctly. This is going to be a free tutorial, and you can see we use Instapage for our AdWords landing pages, and I'll include a link below the video to Instapage. It's cool. Check it out. 14-day free trial. Other than that, let's get right into it. All right, so <clears throat> there's many factors that you need to take into consideration when creating and running a landing page in AdWords. And make no mistake, you do need to have a landing page if you're sending traffic to it through AdWords. Sending traffic to the homepage of your website is just not going to, it never works out well. A landing page you can control, we can make them do what we want to do. So there should be a few options when somebody lands a landing page. You either are going to call, you're going to become a form submission lead or you're going to X out of the page and leave. And we want to force them into this funnel because this is how you increase your conversion rates and get more leads. When you go to a home page, there's too much traffic leakage. There's navigation links. There's videos and all kinds of crazy shit that gets distracting and they lose focus of what they're doing and they leave. So we want to, we want to narrow their focus and just funnel them in right through where we want them to do. So in our AdWords account, we've been going through the XYZ roofing campaign that we built is just like an example campaign and I created a simple landing page here it's the page and it's the page is our landing page builder we use you can use lead pages click funnels doesn't really matter we use this page because it's really awesome it's super easy to use and we set everyone up we set all our clients up on it so let's go into our landing page for XYZ roofing I don't think I even really did anything with it but let's just double check Okay, so you can see, no, I didn't even do a logo or anything. So we, this is just a template that we've got from Instapage, and they have hundreds of templates you can use. So we, it has all the conversion factors we need, though. So you want to log in. Actually, you're not going to log in because you guys don't have Instapage, but let's just go through the conversion aspects of the page. All right, so you have your form here, obviously. This is what the form submission is. We want to force people into here. Or to make a phone call, which they don't have, which I'd have to add, which would be easy because I would just take this, move it up here. You can see this is all drag and drop. We'll just do 555, 555, something like that. And there you go. And then I would just put like a little phone icon there. And that would be a clickable call phone number. You got your main, you got your logo, your main call to action, a little sub, sub line. We usually put um, something here like lo what locations the client services, stuff like that to call out. So you got your form submission. We'd have a roof. If this is really a roofing page, we'd have like a roof thing with people working on the roof. And this is also important. When someone submits a form, you want to make sure to go to a thank you page. And we'll go into that in, in a little later in the video. But a thank you page where you can drop the AdWords code so you can make sure it fires and you get a lead. A lead count to me. So then right below the contact form, we do like a little testimonial from a previous client, something like that. We could do something down here where this section would be, I guess that's the best way to do this, break down a section. So this section would be services. So I would obviously change all this copy out and I would list their services they do right here. Then next, you can do like a little about the company section here. Then some testimonials, final call to action, and if this would pop up into a form. It's taking me back to, but you can create a pop-up form. You can see this. And you can just drop in anything you want here, really. Put the form in. You can see, guys, this page is so, it's so cool. It's so easy, drag and drop. Landing pages, and I'll have a bunch of videos on how to create and use Insta pages to make landing pages in the future. But so yeah, we'd have that when someone clicked it, then it would pop up that you see that box. You know what I mean? So the, I would do that, and then I would also do another button below it and make that a click to call. So do something like call five 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 five. And then when someone is on mobile and they see that, they can just click and call it right away. 
It's pretty cool stuff. And then, so that would be the home page or the uh, the desktop page of the site. Really simple stuff. And then we would go up here over to mobile. And mobile is the same deal. It's all drag and drop. We would generate mobile. We would do our phone icon over here. Make it front and center. So that's click the call. And I put like a little phone icon next to it. And then you could obviously mess around with the design aspects of all this. But design aspects aside, there's just a few things that are important when you're creating your landing page, okay? So let's just go through slower one more time. You want to have your phone number in the header. You want your main call to action to be powerful. It's got to be a really powerful call to action, okay? Then you have your sub call to action. Usually, like I said, we do locations we service. XYZ and surrounding areas. You want to then hit them with your form sub here. Get a free quote today or whatever your special hook is, your offer. Then drop a testimonial from a previous client. Don't use a fake image like this. Make sure it's real, a real testimonial. And if you have a picture of the real person, that's even greater. What I've seen actually convert the best is if your business has Facebook reviews, drop, drop a screenshot of those reviews right in here. That really converts. Those work really well. So then you would have your services offered right here in this section. Then you could do an about your company here. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't even bother. I would just delete this. There's no reason for it. We want to keep them focused. So you have your services here. Main call to action for services. Maybe then do a little about your company. Very, very short, sweet. You don't need a huge thing. It doesn't matter. People are just here because they have a problem and you want to solve it for them as fast as possible. Below services, do some testimonials. Again, make sure if you have Facebook ones, even better. I would do four. I would never just do two, but I would try and do four if you can. And then your final, your final push call to action right here. Sub call to action. Get in touch today. Get your free quote, whatever your hook is, and a click the call. It's where you make sure you put your, your number on here too. So if someone's on desktop, they can just call right from their cell phone if they're looking at the page. And then I would also come down here in the footer and do a privacy policy. Google loves privacy policies. And you can just Google search free privacy policy template or generator or something like that. There's a million of them. And um, just put in the website name and the company's information and it auto generates a privacy policy. And then you would come in and with your username page, you would come in here, highlight that link, pop up, and I would just expand it and just paste the privacy policy in here. So if someone comes down and clicks on the privacy policy, which probably literally never happens, the whole privacy policy will pop up. But it's just good for Google to see this on the page when they scan it. Um, they love that shit. And it's it's all, it's just going to help your quality scores as well for your privacy policy. So that's, that's really it, guys, for a landing page, how to set up a landing page. Now, you want to have more than one landing page, ideally, depending on your campaign and like if you're, let's say you're a DUI lawyer, or no, let's say you're a criminal lawyer, all right, but you're doing like criminal defense law, you're doing DUI, you're doing domestic violence, you're doing drug, you want to have a landing page for each one of those services. You do not just want to send all that traffic to one generic landing page. With AdWords, it's all about specificity and relevance, okay? That's what they care about the most. So you want to have several landing pages tailored to each ad group, but the the landing page design layout always always the same. Your your phone number, call to action, sub call, sub uh, form submission. Hit them with the testimonial about your services. More testimonials. Final push, call to action. Remember the main goal of your landing page when you're running traffic to it in AdWords. Three options: become a lead by phone, call in and become a lead. Become a lead by form submission. Fill out the form or leave the page that's it next we'll get with the next person doesn't matter these pages with these very simple design like this when they're all done they convert at anywhere from 25 and we have ones that go up to 55 60 percent conversion rate which is insane and that's in the long niche too so it's really important you follow that you follow this this template because it works i'm telling you it just works and you got to make sure your mobile looks good too sometimes we do like a a call a click the call button right up here right in the header instead of the phone number I and mean, there's a lot of different things you can do but that's more advanced 
more advanced strategies that we're going to save for probably a course. So I'm going to give you guys some templates in the course as well. So make sure you uh, join our Facebook group because you'll be, they'll be available to you once you're in there. And I'll put a link for that below this video to the Facebook group. But if you guys have any questions about the landing page design or the templates or layouts or Instapage, I'll drop a link for Instapage uh, free trial. I don't think you need a credit card or anything to sign for a free trial. So you can get in here and start playing around with different designs. But um, if you have any questions, drop them below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video. And um, like I said, we dropped a few links in the description below. So make sure you check those out and join our Facebook group. Really important. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. And I'll talk to you in the comments.